you for talking to me. Okay, so first question. So what started your interest in photography? Was it something at school or was it an outside passion that you discovered? So photography for me was at first an outside passion. My parents actually bought me a camera in seventh grade and I started to kind of look on YouTube, find some books, different things and study up by myself and eventually once I came proficient I actually found a class at my school to take in eighth grade and then I started taking all these pictures once, once I had those skills, those basic skills under my belt and uh, as the years progressed I upgraded cameras, took more advanced classes. Next year I'll be doing an AP class actually in photography which I'm really really looking forward to. I think more recent years I've been going around Asia doing a lot of uh, photography here, street photography and over time I've grown, my love of photography has grown and I think my skill set along with it has grown and I'm, I'm really really looking forward to where that's going to take me in the future. Great, so um, how has being an expat or a third culture kid um, influenced your career and passion for photography? So I think being an expat for me has been really a quite interesting experience. So originally because I'm, I'm from California my whole life, um, growing up in San Francisco I've had some Cantonese influence but more recently in San Diego I haven't really had much. <laughs> so um, I think an expat was really a shock for me because seeing all these different this variety of cultures all around me, especially in Hong Kong too, it's such a melting pot when I thought the U.S. was a melting pot. Um, it's been really eye-opening for me and for my photography as well, I think. I've branched more into street photography lately rather than the traditional landscape that I've always done. And I, I think, again, it's allowed me to grow as a photographer, both in my skill set and the work that I've produced through it. So I'm, I'm really, really, I have appreciated having the experience of being an expat and I would definitely do it again if I had the opportunity. <laughs> um, so I noticed that you take a lot of photos around the world and around the U.S. So what is a memorable, ex memorable experience you've had while traveling? Oof, um, the HKS interims have been some of my favorite ones actually. Uh, I did the Morocco one this year, and that was God, that was my favorite, I think, trip I've ever done from being in this little surf town in Essaouira on the coast of Morocco. That was, it was just so different from being in the U.S. and what I was used to when I was younger, even being in Hong Kong when I thought it was crazy enough already. But I think that experience in itself, Morocco, going there for the first time was really craziest thing I feel like I've ever done and you know, going through Casablanca on the streets doing street photography I think and you know almost getting pickpocketed once that was a little <laughs> yeah but it's it's I've had some great great opportunities over the years to travel okay um so what is your favorite thing to photograph in Hong Kong and why uh, Hong Kong I think well, there's so many great places to go to um Hawk area has got some great street markets, but I think right here on Hong Kong Island in Wan Chai, there's one little street a uh, couple blocks towards Hopewell from um, Lee Tung, but, uh, where the street market is, there's a big underwear sign on the side of the building. <laughs> but I think that's my favorite street market. I really, really love to go around the street markets because even though it might be the same block, every time you go there, you, you just you see something different. I think people are always moving and there's just there's something about capturing a person in the moment too that has a lot more meaning behind it. I think in a, a culture so different from what many Americans, at least at HKS, are used to, it's amazing to have a little window into how these people are living. It's it's just it's so different. I, I, lo I love looking at it and learning about it. It's, I love it. And the last question is, how did you pick photos for this exhibit? Was there any I kind of just opened up old folders I had on my laptop of my favorites from back when I lived in the U.S. and said, you know, I sat down with about 25 of them or so and said, okay, which ones do I feel like if I was sitting in line saying, God, I really want to go to the U.S. one day, put myself in that position, what, you know, what would really shock me and say, wow, the United States is a beautiful country. And these were the ones that stuck out to me ones that I could look at and really appreciate being an American, being from the U.S., and say, you know, 
that's my home. <laughs>